On the 26th day of November 1949, our Constituent Assembly adopted, enacted, and gave this Constitution. It came into force on the 26th day of January 1950. We, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, democratic republic. We, the people, are words of the greatest significance. Because our constitution was not imposed on us, but it was created and accepted by the free will of our people. The preamble declares that India is a sovereign, democratic republic. Sovereign means that the Indian Union alone has the ultimate authority over the entire territory and our people. The democratic character of our state is reflected in the four provisions of our constitution. Adult franchise, that is, the right to vote. Periodic elections to safeguard that right. And, as a guardian of the constitution, an impartial and independent judiciary. Remember, the authority our republic enjoys is based on the people's consent. To keep our democracy alive, those who hold high office do so by election and not by inheritance. And those so elected will ensure that we citizens live our lives in freedom and fairness and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic, and political. This means that our Constitution promises justice to each one of us. How does all this work out? Let's take Harijans as an example of social justice. The social structure of the Hindus consists of a caste system based on birth and millions of Harijans are considered untouchables. Our constitution guarantees that all citizens are born free and equal. Hence the need for social justice. Next, economic justice. What is the worth of a democracy which functions to the economic advantage of the few and neglects the majority? Economic justice implies protection of the weaker sections of society which constitute a major part of the population. Thirdly, political justice. In the eyes of the state, all citizens are equal in human worth. Political equality means one person, one vote. The preamble speaks of liberty, of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship. This liberty not only implies freedom of speech, but also freedom of the press, the arts, and culture. It also means complete religious freedom, the right to worship according to one's conscience. Equality of status and of opportunity. This provides that the state will not discriminate, nor will it allow anyone to discriminate for public purposes on the basis of caste, creed, religion, sex, or social and economic status. It gives each one the right to equal participation in the political life of the country and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity of the nation. Because ours is a nation of many communities, the promotion of brotherhood is most important to a well-functioning democracy. Our constitution, therefore, emphasizes the dignity of the individual. And last but not least, 
यूनिटी ऑफ द नेशन वाले हैं हमको देश प्यारा है देश की रक्षा कौम की सेवा यही हमारा नारा है यही हमारा नारा है हम देश के मत वाले हैं हमको देश प्यारा है देश की रक्षा कौम की सेवा यही हमारा नारा है यही हमारा नारा है